Hello everyone, this is Marco and welcome back to my channel. This right here is the last video of the ultimate Robber Source Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yes, this is part six, believe it or not. In episode one, I showed you how I sculpted the head. In the second one, it was the body. And then the third one, it was the limbs. The fourth one was molding. The fifth one was casting. And this one is painting and finishing. In this video, I'll be using the following products. Links are in the description. I always make sure I paint my figures with Arteza's premium acrylic paints. Honestly guys, the quality of this paint is really good. So I suggest you check the links in the description to find out more and order some for yourself. Now we're all set, we can start this project. What a journey, this was a very long project. This is the cast of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. As you can see, it's got limb articulation, roaring action, bendy tail, and obviously it's rubbery because, you know, it is a rubber saw. And the body's made of medium rubber, the head and the arms are made of a harder rubber, and the legs are made of plastic. All materials are based on polyurethane, which means that it's paintable. Yes, this rubber can be painted with normal acrylic paints, which is amazing. When I first started making rubber saws, I used to make the body out of silicon rubber, with protoputty to be exact, which was a mix of silicon cork and cornstarch. Now that worked, but I thought that was, you know, a little bit unprofessional and it would tear quite easily, but most importantly, you needed some special paints to paint it. I did more research and this material was what I found. And <laughs> imagine my surprise when I found out that I could actually paint this. Because you can't really paint silicon with normal acrylics. You have to make a special mix of silicon-based paints because nothing sticks to silicon except silicon itself. Silicon does stick to glass but that's because glass contains silicon inside so basically silicon sticks to itself and the glass and that's it that's why you need silicon based paints which are a pain in the bum to make so yes this is just a very long-winded way of saying that i'm so happy that this rubber can be painted without it flaking or chipping off. Because of the nature of polyurethane, it has a porous surface, which is perfect for painting with acrylics. What I'm doing right now is the color of the belly. As you can see, I used some white and some dark yellow mixed together. It makes off white. I dry brushed it all on the belly. The next step is just to do the same thing on the back, but with a different color. This time I'm using a darker brown. Once I mix the color with the paintbrush, I rub the paintbrush onto some kitchen roll, which gets rid of all the excess paint on the brush, which is perfect for dry brushing. So I'm aiming to paint this figure as if it was a manufactured toy. So quite a simple paint job, not ultra realistic. And I set myself to achieve a natural look with very, very few colors. So for the body itself, I'm going to use three colors. The off-white for the belly, a darker brown on the top of the back, and an even darker brown for the eye sockets and the stripes along the body. I also don't want to cover the whole body with paint, for example the sides of the dinosaur, because it would get rid of that rubbery feel that the skin has. If I covered it with paint, it would just feel like a layer of paint. By the way, I suggest you stick to the end of the video because there will be some beautiful pictures of the finished product taken by the amazing A Scene Is Born on Instagram. He is an amazing photographer and just made my Rex look so delicious. <laughs> there is also a count at the end of how many hours I spent on this project. Ah, uh, it is a lot of time. <laughs> but I also should mention that the last two videos, so the casting and this one here, are what I would be doing to make every figure that a potential client would buy. Right, I challenge you guys to write in the comment section down below how many hours you think in total I took to make this project. And then I want you to write in the comment section down below how many hours do you think it takes to make one copy of a figure. Basically, to cast a figure and paint it too. So at the moment of recording, I am taking a break from making any rubber saws until probably mid-January 2021. This is to uh, help me recover from this very long project as I really need a break. 
but also it will give you guys time to save up to potentially buy one. My plan is when I come back, I release three to five possibly rubber T-Rexes every month or so. If I'm too overwhelmed, I will probably make some every two months or so. That is what I would like to do anyway. Obviously, I can't guarantee it because life. But yeah, that's what I would like to do. So it would give everyone that wants to buy one a chance to get one because I know how upset some people got when they couldn't get the previous versions of Rubbersaws. I should probably take advantage and reply to some questions that I keep receiving on each and every video multiple times, which is, oh, you should make Indominus Rex or Indoraptor or Ultimasaurus and Godzilla and all that sort of stuff. Those creatures are actually created and property of Universal or their respective owners so I can't make any figures and sell them. I can make Tyrannosaurus sculpts because T-Rex was an actual living animal a long time ago and that scientific name doesn't belong to anyone. Extinct animals have no rights. Right guys hear me out if I was to make sculpts of Indominus Rex and sell it to people I would be stealing from Universal because it is their property. I would never do that. By doing so, I would get in loads of trouble. You see the problem here? Stealing stuff obviously is wrong, but I don't want I don't want to be sued. Talking about being sued, if anyone in the world sees my videos and copies my ideas, you're gonna get in trouble. Anyway, right now I'm painting the eyes with some yellow, and then I'm going to do the pupil with some black. I'm gonna use white to make the reflection in the eye. Earlier I painted the toe claws, the finger claws, and the dew claw with some grey paint. Underneath on the feet, there is my Marco Makes logo and the space for the rubber saw sticker which is what I am going to apply soon. About the price, these figures are going to go for about £200. That is uh, the currency here in the UK. If you want to find out how much it is in US dollars or in your currency, you can Google it. I really hope I don't have to repeat myself and explain why I charge such amounts. Uh, I have already explained it in other videos. All these figures are handmade, each and every single one of them. Here is the Marco Makes Rubbersaws Ultimate Tyrannosaurus Rex. I hope you enjoyed this series. Please do yourself a favor and stick around to the end of the video because you're going to see some awesome shots and obviously you're going to find out how long this whole project took and we'll find out if your guesses were correct. So please go follow my Etsy store because this T-Rex is gonna be available from mid-January, hopefully. I have plenty more dinosaurs in the works, so please stay tuned, subscribe if you want more, and like this video if you, uh, if you enjoyed it. I have a Dilophosaurus in the works, a Triceratops in the works too, which is really exciting, and many, many more. And here is a little demo of what the rubber saws T-Rex can actually do. Now it's the time for the awesome pictures taken by A Scene Is Born. Please go follow him on Instagram. I will probably upload a separate video showing you all the beautiful pictures that A Scene Is Born has created. Yes, there is many more, including a little behind the scenes too. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> This is special. I designed a box for it. I really love how it came out. And I have already got some prints of the box made and delivered at home. So if you're willing to spend a little bit more, you can get yourself a limited edition T-Rex with its own custom packaging.
I would like you guys to know how how incredibly happy I am to receive so much love and support for this project. So thank you so, so much. It really does mean the world to me. And hopefully we can get a Kickstarter set up soon, maybe sometime in 2021. And by working together, we can probably make this become a reality and it would give us the possibility to manufacture these. And that would be incredible. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, Sick Merch is available on Redbubble. We have t-shirts, mugs, water bottles and other cool stuff, but that's not all. On my Etsy store, you can find my rubber saws as well as sign prints. So what are you waiting for? Just go and click the links in the description. I would like to give a massive thank you to all of my Patreons. Seriously guys, your support really does mean the world to me as it helps me do what I love for you. You help me buy materials and most of all, you give me a helping hand with improving the quality of the content of my videos. Even if it's just a small donation, every little helps. If you like my videos, please press the like button and you could uh, consider subscribing. It's free. Oh, and don't forget to press the notification bell button because you don't want to miss any of my new stuff, right? I'm going to say bye now because when you got to go, you got to go. I will see you in the next one.